Welcome back students, this is the professor and in today's video, we're going to be creating an online banking website using Flask. Now this website won't be using any SQL, however if you do need some SQL in your code, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment and I'll be making a new video about it. So let's get right into this. Now I'm going to import a function from the Flask library. So I'm going to say from Flask, import Flask and make sure the F over here is capitalized. And now to initialize our app, I'm going to say app equals flask. And inside the flask function, I'm going to say underscore underscore name, underscore underscore. Now, we need to type this block of code in right here. And if you're not using a website like me, which is repellent, you just need to type in debug equals true. However, if you're using a website like Repellent, you're going to need to type this host and port in, otherwise it just won't work. So, to get started with our app, I'm going to say at app.route. This is just to set up the pages of our website. I'm going to give it a slash um, name. So, when you go onto the URL, after the website's name, if you just type slash, it will bring us to the home page. Now let's define our viewing page. Let's say define home page, like so. And for now, let's just return a normal HTML. So I'm going to say put them h1 tags. I'm going to close them h1 tags. And a simple hello world will do for now. Just like so. I'll give my website a run. And there we go. So we successfully initialized our app and we launched it. This is how it looks like. Not too bad. So for now, we are just going to set up the different view pages that a banking website is going to need. So it'll obviously need a home page. It will also need a sign up and login page. So I'm going to quickly type that in, app.route, and for the URL, let's just type in slash login for the login page. Let's say define login. Make sure you give it a sensible name. And for now, let's just return a simple HTML tag, which says the login page. There we go. Let me just close it. And I'll just type in login page, just like so. And now if I run this, open it in a new tab, go on the URL, type slash login, it will transfer us to the login page. So just for that, I'm going to fast forward this video and I'm going to create different routes for my different pages. So I'll be back in a second. So guys, I've completed my view page uh, functions. If I run this and open it into a new tab, just like so. If I type in slash login, I'll take us to the login page. Register will take us to the register page. And for a bank, you always need to deposit your money. So I'm going to say slash deposit, bring us to the deposit page and if you just put our money in the bank, how are we going to take it out? That's right, we go to the withdrawal page. And we've been transferred there. So now this is just a simple HTML tag. We haven't even put our HTML pages up yet. So that's what we're going to do right now. So in our files area, I'm going to create a new folder called templates. Now this templates is going to house all the HTML files that we have. So I'm just going to create a file over here and I'm going to say home page and remember to type dot html and now this will house all the contents of the front end onto the home page and over here let me just type in an html tag and we give it a head and I'll put in an h3 tag just like so and I'll just say 
this is the home page now if we go back to our main.py and we just say return homepage.html it's not going to work and to fix that we're going to need to import a new function called render template so if you go back to the top over here where it says from flask import flask we type in a comma and say render underscore template just like so and to import the HTML file from the templates folder we take this out first of all and we say render underscore template and this is actually a function and over here inside the function we need a template name or list for now we're just going to need the template name and for the rest it is the homepage.html you type in over here homepage.html and if you run this one more time this is now the home page oh yeah so we don't need a single line and it's not going to be so cramped up in our main.py page because we have another folder dedicated to the home page and you can type in anything you want like subscribe to me and reload the web page and there you go subscribe to me if you want so that's how we create different HTML pages for the different view functions so now I'm gonna fast forward this video one more time and I'm just going to create different HTML pages for my different view functions so I'll see you in a bit So welcome back again and as you can see I've created different HTML pages for my different view functions. Now this is where we face a different problem. As you can see for our different HTML pages, every time we type something or we need to type something, we have to set up these HTML tags, the head tag and it's just time consuming the more pages that you have. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to type in bootstrap. Now Bootstrap is an amazing website, I recommend you just go on it and find different forms, tables, you can find anything you want that your website needs. So I'm going to go to docs and over here on the main page where it says introduction just scroll down a bit and you will see the starter template. So just click this copy, it'll just copy to your clipboard, we go into our website, I mean our code editor and in our templates folder we create another file called base.html just like so and we just copy and paste and this is where all the code is so over here it includes some bootstrap css it includes some javascript as well now if you go to our main.py and we just type render.base.html like so and we reload the page let me load this again yeah and we reload it brings the hello world text over here and now to change this we just need to remove this thing over here but we are not going to type whatever we want to type in over here so for example if the home page we're not, i'm not going to type in home page so for this we're going to need to use something called ginger now ginger incorporates some python into our html code it makes our HTML code more intuitive and it just expands our techniques. So I'm going to say percent signs and I'll be saying block content. And now I'm going to close the block content by saying end block. Now, what this will do is any code which is written inside the block content and end block will be different to each web page and everything outside the block content will be similar for all pages so what I mean is if I go back to my home page just remove everything and we're gonna need the curly braces again and we're gonna say extends with the quotation marks base.html 
Now just just inherits all the components inside our base.html. And now I'm gonna open up the block content, just like so, and I'm gonna close it as well. Now, if I just copy this and put it in the login.html folder for file, for example, everything I type into the block content inside the home page.html will be different from the login.html. However, everything outside the block content will be similar to login.html. So if for the login.html file I type in this is the login page subscribe and I save this I go in over here type in slash login you can see that in the login page we can just see login page and if we go to the home page which has a similar code just nothing inside the block content we can see that it doesn't say anything because we didn't write anything in the block content so this is extremely useful when you're having multiple HTML files inheriting the code from a base template is really useful so I'm going to fast forward this video I'm just going to type in a simple text that say this is the data file so I'll see you guys in a bit So welcome back again guys as you can see i've completed everything in the html files so we go back to our main.py and for every return for the functions we're just going to write in our html template inside the render template function So guys, I've done everything for all the different functions. Let me save this. So there we go, guys. We I have edited every view page functions to a render template function, and I've incorporated the specific HTML file. So if you go back to our website and we type in the slash URL, it brings us to the home page. Slash login brings us to the login page. Don't forget to subscribe to the register page. URL we go to the register page and for the deposit slash deposit we go to the deposit page and so on and so forth so there you have it guys this is the first episode for the online banking website using flask if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next lesson